The MCU, with over a decade of films and shows, has faced fan division on various releases. Despite high expectations from a dedicated fan base, debates arise over issues like fan service, weak villains, or direction. While some argue a decline in quality, fan disagreements on MCU movies have been a constant. From character choices to plot twists, these 10 MCU movies have left audiences divided, igniting discussions that continue to resonate in the ever-expanding Marvel community. But before watching these 10 MCU movies that divided fans, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more upcoming videos like this. With that being said, the 10th MCU movie that divided fans is Spider-Man No Way Home. All three MCU Spider-Man movies, including Far From Home and No Way Home, have excelled, each grossing over a billion dollars and earning 90% or more on Rotten Tomatoes. No Way Home, the latest, lived up to high expectations with the return of Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire. The Peter Parker team-up delighted fans, generating end-game level enthusiasm in theatres. Some noted the film's emphasis on the theatrical experience, especially during the impactful entrances of Garfield and Maguire. While questioning Spider-Man's ease in defeating Doctor Strange, the majority of fans embraced the film's callbacks, humour and heartfelt moments. And the ninth movie that divided MCU fans is Avengers Age of Ultron. Avengers Age of Ultron, among the $4 billion grossing Avengers movies, stands out as the most divisive, with a 76% rating on Rotten Tomatoes, the lowest in the series. Criticisms include Ultron's weaker villain presence compared to Loki and Thanos, convoluted plot, and a forced romance between Natasha and Bruce. Despite flaws, the film boasts memorable comedic moments, like Steve Rogers' language remark. Fans also lamented the questionable death of Pietro Maximoff, contrasting it with superior Quicksilver scenes in X-Men movies. Despite mixed reviews, Age of Ultron still garnered a substantial fan base. And here comes the eighth MCU movie, Iron Man 3. Iron Man's final instalment was epic yet bittersweet, notably with Tony Stark tossing his life-saving arc reactor into the ocean. However, the villains disappointed many, as the feared Mandarin turned out to be a puppet for Aldrich Killian, portrayed by actor Trevor. This departure from the formidable Mandarin in the comics left fans unsatisfied. Luckily, Marvel Studios corrected this in Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings eight years later, redeeming the Mandarin character. At the time of Iron Man 3, this redemption wasn't foreseeable making the Mandarin's portrayal feel unfulfilling for fans who value comic accuracy. And with that, the seventh movie in our list is Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel faced a notable audience critics divide on Rotten Tomatoes, with a 34% difference. Critics rated it at 79%, while the audience gave it 45%. The film became a target of review bombing, a practice often directed at movies with women or people of colour in lead roles. Despite this, Captain Marvel, an average MCU movie with trademark humour and a dynamic duo in Carol Danvers and Nick Fury, surpassed the hate and grossed over $1 billion, marking a significant milestone as the first solo female-led MCU film. And the sixth movie which divided fans is Eternals. Chloe Zhao's visually stunning Eternals, while praised for its departure from superhero norms, became one of the first MCU films to receive a rotten score on Rotten Tomatoes. Some fans disliked the deviation from the familiar Marvel formula, missing the trademark humour. Others appreciated the fresh take, highlighting unique elements like depicting the speedster Makari in real time. The movie's slower pace and extensive cast labelled Eternals as Marvel Studios' unconventional entry, with strengths and weaknesses that divided audience opinions. And the fifth MCU movie in our list is Thor Love and Thunder. Thor Love and Thunder, following the success of Ragnarok, disappointed some fans who found it lacking in comparison. Gore the God Butcher, portrayed by Christian Bale, was underused and less intimidating. The film's humour, while enjoyable in Ragnarok, went too far with screaming goats, and substandard CGI was noted. 
Despite these issues, the movie retained a light-hearted tone and a hopeful message, providing an overall enjoyable experience for many viewers. And the fourth movie is The Marvels. Despite its upbeat tone, The Marvels became the lowest grossing MCU movie, attributed to superhero fatigue and perceived backlash from Captain Marvel. While dedicated fans enjoyed it, the 83% Rotten Tomatoes score wasn't enough to draw broader audiences. Main discussions revolved around its box office performance, with Marvel fans split on waiting for Disney Plus streaming or defending their theatre choices. Positive highlights included praise for Iman Vellani's energetic performance as Kamala Khan, Miss Marvel. And the third MCU movie that divided fans is Black Widow. Scarlett Johansson's long-awaited Black Widow solo film, released a decade after her MCU debut, pleased fans despite some concerns. Critics argue it could have been better if released earlier, noting an underwhelming villain reveal with Taskmaster. Released during the pandemic, Black Widow's box office, while seemingly low for the MCU, performed well given the circumstances. Fans appreciated the introduction of Yelena Belova and the resolution to the Budapest mystery, though the tone was more sombre than expected. Overall, Black Widow is considered a solid addition to the MCU, but sometimes gets overshadowed within the vast Marvel film lineup. And the second MCU movie in our list is Spider-Man Homecoming. Spider-Man's MCU solo debut in Homecoming generated significant excitement after his memorable introduction in Captain America Civil War. Tom Holland's portrayal received praise for the chilling plot twist, unique fight sequences and Spidey's humour. Despite the film's overall positive reception and a certified fresh rating on Rotten Tomatoes, some fans criticised the significant mentorship and tech assistance provided by Iron Man, breaking the tradition of a more independent Spider-Man. The debate ranged from calling Holland Spider-Man an Iron Man Jr. to praising the advanced suit for enhancing the character's monologues. Despite the division, the movie still achieved almost a billion dollars at the box office. And the last MCU movie in our list that divided fans is Captain America Civil War. Team Cap or Team Iron Man? The 2016 release of Civil War, the final Captain America installment, sparked intense debates among fans over the Sokovia Accords. While some focused on choosing sides, others critiqued the film. Baron Zemo's complexity as a villain was acknowledged, but his plan's convenience raised eyebrows. Critics argued that Civil War leaned more towards an Avengers film than a Captain America installment. Despite these concerns, the movie was a box office hit and Spider-Man's MCU debut was a standout moment celebrated by all. So, these are some of the 10 MCU movies that divided fans. Do you have anything to say about the MCU? Tell us in the comments section. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe this channel.